System one loaded. Hi guys, I'm here with Maria Lewis, who is the author of the Who's Afraid series yes. and a uh, journalist in her own right. Yeah! So, Rumor um, has it. Rumor has it. <laughs> um, so you're here today with your book. Yes, I am. Who's Afraid. So can you tell us a bit about that book? Yeah, well, Who's Afraid is the first in an urban fantasy supernatural series. It's kind of, if you enjoyed True Blood, that's sort of the audience that it's targeted at. It's for adults, but like, a, there's a lot of younger readers too, so I'm like, sorry for ruining your life. It's not my fault. <laughs> um, and it follows a woman, Tommy Grayson, who starts to track down her family and inadvertently discovers that she's actually descended from a long line of very powerful werewolves. Yeah. So you know that super relatable story where you find out that you're a werewolf and yeah. yeah. So I'm here with Who's Afraid and Who's Afraid 2 which is the sequel. Which is great, I've read that. Thank you. And Thank the you. second book I actually stayed up all night on a work night. Oh my god. So I could finish it because it was... Oh that makes me so happened. happy. That makes me so happy. I've done that so many times with books yep. and that is like the optimum goal. Like Who's Afraid? They're not exactly literary, you know, they're not going to win a Miles Franklin award, but I want them to be entertaining and I want people to be able to watch, like, watch them and read them and envision them as if it's like a really fun popcorn movie. So the fact that you stayed up all night makes me really happy because yeah. that means I'm trying to do my job and, and that's it was my worth job. It. It yes, was totally, worth, totally. It. <laughs> worth those Steve Buscemi yeah. eyes. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. how did you get into writing these books? Um, well, it was kind of, I love genre. I read a lot of genre, YA and adult and horror and stuff like that. And it got to this point where it felt like all of the books I was reading, the heroines were getting younger and younger and wider and wider until it was all 15-year-old white girls with long red hair who were saving the world. And I found that really hard to relate to. And it was also very different from the kind of heroines that I grew up with, like Clarice Starling and Odelia Mapp and Xena, who originally starts yeah. out as a villain, and Jessica Jones from the comics in 2001. And so those really complicated women who are grown-ass women and who aren't necessarily experiencing first love or first kiss or first whatever. Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to write. I wanted to write a woman who was complex and complicated and flawed. And I think the flaws are what make her really interesting and are what populate that world in an interesting way. Yeah. Yeah. I think besides me, it, like, it's really resonating with a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, super fortunate, actually. I mean, that's the thing. Like, writing is just shouting into a void hoping that someone <laughs> gives a damn and if anyone cares that's not your mother you're like excellent <laughs> but who's afraid of? there's been a lot of cosplayers that have yeah. dressed up as the characters which is super cool and come dressed as werewolf victims which is really aggressive and gory and I'm like that's my people yeah, um, that's cool. but yeah it's been great the audience split is probably about 60% women 40% men which oh. is awesome and the age group's like 13 to 80 yep. which is really nice yeah. so it's it's cool that this thing that I cared about for a long time hasn't just kind of, you know, disappeared into the ether and that people seem to be, really people excited. seem to be giving a shit, which is good. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. And so your latest big announcement is the TV show. Yes. Can you give us some insight into that? What's going on? Okay, so we are developing a Who's Afraid TV series, which is going to be very exciting. Um, there's not a whole lot I can say at the moment, but the team that I'm working with uh, just sold the first uh, original Netflix series for Australian television. Oh, wow. Which is very cool. Uh, it's called Tidelands, I believe. I was yeah. like, it had a different production name and I was about to say it, which is a spoiler. So it's called oh. Tidelands. Um, and they're amazing. They did Secrets and Lies in the US and yep. they've done a bunch of other stuff. So I'm very excited to be working with I'm them. Excited. And, Even more oh funny. my God. And the team are amazing. It's all yep. these like badass women who really get the story and understand what I've been trying to do yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited they seem to get it and um, I'm, I'm kind of enthusiastic about adapting the books to a different audience and expanding the story a little bit because yeah. there's a lot of stuff that you do in a book that you can't do in a television series and a lot of stuff you can do in a TV series yeah. like something that might take me chapters to explain in a book you can do in like a minute on a yeah. TV show by yeah. showing rather than telling so I'm really excited to do that and also expand the world a little bit yeah, um, and bring things that happen in later books in earlier so the story feels a little bit bigger and more expansive because the Who's Afraid books are told through the perspective of Tommy Grayson, who's the main character, but it is 
it's a narrow perspective. It's all through the prism of her experiences. And so with a TV series, you get to tell multiple points of view, which I think is going to be fun. There's some excellent characters that'll be so good to see. Yeah, oh world. my God. I can't well. wait to see the werewolf pack, because I think that's, yeah. that's going to be one of the things I'm super excited. I can't wait to see the E.T. pack. I'm like yeah. really invested and excited about you know casting those guys yeah. and, and finding some amazing talent. I've got like a list on my phone which is just this list of every character and also every production role and like 10 to 20 names of people that I'm obsessed with. It would be amazing. So I just have this list and I just keep adding to it and hopefully it'll get to the point where, you know, we can start hiring some of these people, which yeah, would be really be cool. Awesome. Yeah. So when yeah. can we expect filming to start and the Ooh, show to drop? I mean, show to drop, no idea. Um, filming, it kind of depends on how pre-production goes. Yeah. You know, we might smash through it really quickly yeah. and interest might boom up or it might take a few years. So it's just one of those things you don't really know with TV shows. It's um, it can, yeah, sort of just depends, I guess. So in the meantime, yes, Who's Afraid Three. Yes, um, twenty eighteen. It's yep. tentatively titled Who's Still Afraid. Yep. Might be Who's Still Afraid last summer. No, I kid. No, it's <laughs> not called that. Um, but it's coming twenty eighteen. It's yep. done. It's with the publishers. So yeah, hopefully, I'm for that oh, adventure. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so glad someone's excited yeah. for it. That's yeah, very nice. Yeah. No, it's great. Um, so. Can you kind of talk about a, a de, like what a day looks like for writing for you? Oh, um, none of them look the same because obviously I do a lot of touring with this, and this is the first time I've really. I'm this, we're shooting this in Sydney, and I'm based in Sydney, but this is the first time I've been back in Sydney for like almost two months now. Oh, wow. I've been traveling a lot and going to New Zealand for the TV show and things like that. So um, it kind of honestly just depends what where I'm going or what I've got on and I try and fit writing in around that okay. um, which can be a little hard so I don't have like a regular routine it just kind of depends on my schedule is I do a lot of writing while traveling okay. so riding on planes riding at airports riding on trains yeah. and that works quite well for me I've never really had the luxury of a lot of time so I don't really get writer's block that often because I know that if I don't utilize that two hour window or three hour window then I don't know when I'm going to get that time again. So, okay. yeah. And I suppose a lot of um, people ask, but do you have any hot tips for writers? Endurance. Endurance yep. is the big hot tip. I mean, obviously, finish the book, you know what I mean? Like, you can't, you're not, never going to get it out there unless you finish it. But I feel like people either have it in them to finish it or they don't. And you either will do it or you won't. But once it's finished, you really need to have endurance to last through those dozens and dozens of edits, to last through the often heartbreaking process of getting an agent or getting a publisher and then the publishing process takes years as well so it's it's one of those things that uh and then once it comes out oh my god then you have to do like promotion and yeah. talk about it continuously which is amazing because it's great because it's the thing you just only talked about with yourself for so long but it's a long a long process and so yeah. endurance would be my number one tip because you really it's a long haul it's a long haul yeah. game so yeah with the character tommy and yeah the, the first inception the ideas around that yeah. book. How did that all start? Well, Tommy was kind of anti-inspiration. She was a, okay. a character that strutted into my head um, and filled a void that I thought wasn't being catered to at that time. Okay. And I loved her so much. And she was a really fully formed sort of being. And so I have to basically build a world around her. And so I had Tommy first and then I had to set up the metaphorical house that she lived in, I guess. Yeah. So, okay, but my next question when I was reading it yes and it's set mainly in Scotland yes why well originally it was set in Australia and New Zealand the yep. New Zealand part was always a part of it it's where I'm from and so it's really important yep. to me to include that in there um, but it was on the advice of Matthew Riley who actually suggested moving it internationally to broaden its appeal so thanks everyone um, thanks Maria that thank was you so much having me chat to you <laughs> And if you want to find out more about Maria, you can go to... Twitter. I'm on Twitter as MovieMaz, two Zs, move, the word movie, M-A-Z-Z, -Z. Facebook, Maria Lewis, Instagram, marialewis.com, to know you. Yep. Wherever you buy books, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Get down to your bookstore and buy Who's Afraid. You will not regret it, I promise. <laughs>